Good morning, everyone. My hair looks like crap today. It's one of those days. So anyway, still no word on my mom. Good morning. It's Sunday morning, April 11th, just after 10 a.m. And we're going out for a walk. Not only do Bob and I need some exercise and I need to get out in the fresh air and away from everything else that's going on, but we have still Lily, no grass, crazy pants, noodle dog there. And she really likes to go for a walk. So she just saw a deer. So she's like, what was that? Is it a friend? Anyway, so we're gonna go for a walk and get some steps in. Oh, and Lily scared it away. Um, Cause you know, he barks. Anyway, so we're gonna go get some steps in and see what we can see. I'll be back. Okay. So I don't know if you hear, can hear the faint hum of music in the background, but Bob is in the garage working on all the cars. I think he washed mine. Yes. Yeah, so I drive a Subaru out back. Can you even see that? Uh, kind of right there. The front end. Anyway, it's red. Um, anyway, it was filthy. It was absolutely filthy. So he's downstairs washing the cars and um, I was upstairs here catching up on some stuff that because of um, this situation with my parents I didn't get done and um, that included scanning a bunch of artwork sending out um, downloads to uh, free da digital downloads of things to patrons and supporters and getting all the scans done which I did now I have two pieces of artwork that are for sale in the Etsy shop that I just really love so much I scanned and made copies for them for, for myself I did share the copies with um, the patrons and supporters um, but I really just wanted to um, make them into stickers. So I made them into stickers. And um, it's that one. And then, oops. Oh, that one. Um, the originals, of course, like I said, are for sale in the Etsy shop. If you'd like to own them, to hang them on your wall. They're signed on the back. Um, and then I have a bunch of copies of vintage and antique ephemera some of which I had, some of which a friend of mine had, Laura Gergain, that she shared with me. So with her permission, we created a digital file combining the two. And so I printed some of those for myself because I want to use them in my downstairs journal. So those are all going downstairs. And the handmade paper is all dry. I have another coffee filter from the inside of the strainer that sits over my paint water bucket in the first. So the first level of cleaning the water when I'm done creating is running all the water through a strainer with lined with a coffee filter. Then after that, I use the golden crash paint solids to remove the rest of the solid matter from the water to make the water safe to be something that's dumped down the drain. Um, I will put a link to the crash paint solids down below for you. It works really well. Anyway, um, when I was um, cleaning that whole mess up, <laughs> getting it ready for the crash paint solids, um, the um, strainer was lined with some paper pulp. I didn't think it would come out, but I dumped it out on the table and it actually did, so it's going to dry to another piece of paper. So, you know, Lily, of course, is up here because Grandpa was downstairs in the garage and she was crying because I was busy and not paying attention to her and grandpa was outside also not paying attention Poor to her. Thing. So she was having a conniption fit. Poor thing. You're right? Poor baby. And my siblings and I are working to advocate for my parents and getting them the help, equipment and supplies they need no matter what ends up happening with my mom or she, whether she stays home um, for care or she ends up going into care so that for both her and my dad, it's the way it needs to be. So we're all cooperating. That's not happened in decades, but it's nice. All right.
I think that's it for the minute. I'm gonna actually turn the computer off even though it's only 2.41. I could edit the vlog, but I'm not going to. I'll do it tomorrow. All right, that's it for the minute. I'll be back. It is Monday, March 12th. It's about 1.30 p.m. I have spent the morning on the phone with nurses and doctors and on the internet chatting back and forth with siblings. And right now, as we speak, my mom is at the hospital and they're getting her some outpatient testing that she needs and then taking her around to the emergency room. And hopefully if the right things are said by my dad, dad and my niece, getting her admitted, which is one step closer to getting her into skilled nursing. It's a lot of ifs though. I mean, hey guys, we are out for our evening walk, taking Noodle Girl, Noodle Girl, out for a walk before she goes home. And uh, yeah, awaiting test results for my mom and hopefully some definitive answers because up until then, up until now, the diagnosis has been speculative. So, but the good news is they're keeping her at the hospital for the time being. She's not going home anytime soon. They need to figure out what's going on. And my dad's made it very clear to the staff, he cannot take care of her at home. So I gave him permission earlier to do and or say whatever he needs to with, with regards to the staff to make his point clear to them that he can't take care of her, I would forgive him whatever it was. So that might be a pretty big statement. I might regret it later. <laughs> you guys are gonna be able to see this. There's our little neighborhood duck pair. You can see that male right there, just maybe. Walk, just walked away. Oh, yeah. That's a female. I think they just flew away. Pretty sure they have a nest over there somewhere. Or someone's house. Because they probably in the bushes over there because they are over there all the time. So anyway, such a pretty sight. Hey guys, so it's been a bit windy this morning. I think it died down finally, but um, all morning we can hear pine cones and branches hitting the roof. Uh, our driveway and street are completely littered. It's crazy. Um, up here in the art room doing a little bit of cleaning and reorganizing. I um, changed this part right here a little bit to allow for a basket of my handmade papers, my distressed papers, some things that I've printed on dictionary paper, things, um, um, sort of texture paper I've made out of paint and dryer sheets. Some things I really, really want to use and if they're in the bin, I'm finding I'm not using them. Um, and this way it's a little easier for me to just kind of flip through and, and pick out what I want to use. I still have the bin I and mean, it has um, more painty papers and canvas scraps and stuff in it. Um, but there's some things in here that I really, really am enjoying at the moment and I want them out. Um, I still have my stack of books to dry flowers and some other things. Um, the big thing I moved was the little toaster oven we have for drying clay and stuff. I put it over here on the tool desk and model making desk right there rearrange this a little bit, kind of put the disposable cups in a, a little bin to corral them a little bit. Mostly, I'm just keeping myself busy. Uh, my mother has been transferred to a bigger hospital in Washington State. She's getting some more testing done. She has some lesions or masses on her brain, and she's got some trouble with the spinal fluid not draining their... Um, gonna drain the fluid and test it. They're going to do some more testing on the masses. One of them is causing the spinal fluid to not drain and they're not sure what's going on with her. It might be really bad. So I'm keeping myself busy. Yeah. So anyway, I have to do April's mission inspiration. Haven't done it yet. So I printed that, it's on my table. I also have my other art journal out because I wanna do a page of that. Whether today or tomorrow, I don't know, but I do want to work in that. And I need to sweep the floor in here because I did make a lot of paper. I've put the paper making stuff away for the minute because I have a lot of handmade paper right now and I need to use up what I have made before I make more. Um, I have all of this, right? Um, there is some handmade paper in my Etsy shop for sale. 
um, at this moment. I think there's still some pieces in there. Uh, could be wrong about that, but I don't think I am. Anyway, sorry, distracted by paper. Um, yeah, so that's all the stuff going on this morning. <laughs> Hey guys, it's Wednesday evening, April 14th. It is uh, quarter to 6 p.m. I haven't vlogged all day. I did do a couple of journal pages and I actually recorded uh, the process. So there'll be some uh, non-speaking journaling videos coming soon. I don't know that I'll speed them up so much as they'll just be music in the background. Um, so I got that done. The rest of the day has been filled with phone calls and family conversations and sibling arguments. And yeah, still no word on my mom. And I don't think this is a case where no news is good news. I think it might be the opposite. So yeah, trying not to eat another bag of cookies. <laughs> I'm going to cut up some more apples for Bambi and friends and feed them and keep myself occupied because that's all I think I can do right now. I'll be back. Good morning, everyone. My hair looks like crap today. It's one of those days. So anyway, still no word on my mom. 
still waiting. And things are quiet out in the woods today, I think. Beautiful sunshine. I'm gonna open some windows Let's see. while I can before the yellow pollen season hits. And then I just don't open at least this side window because the pollen just gets everywhere. I've got so many things on the window, so it's hard to get open. <laughs> it's just really difficult. Okay. Um, I've got a couple of videos I filmed yesterday of me, non-speaking videos of me working on some journal pages, and I'm going to start a playing in my journal series. Episode one is saving right now and then I did the other journal page was mission inspiration so I'm going to be saving that one and doing that one today too and getting those scheduled and loaded up to YouTube and scheduled I'm trying some new music so let me know if y'all like it or not um what else I think right now because it's 11:57, I'm gonna go have some lunch and watch some YouTube and then later this afternoon I might work on another journal page and film that. So I'm working on a journal page in between crazy text messages from my parents. Oh, uh, not my parents, my siblings about my parents. And do you guys ever just have a roll of washi tape that just, I mean, it seems like no matter what I do, I just can't get it to unroll it just I'm about ready to chuck it in the trash can I I can't like really like it's just doing this like what the hell if you guys have ever had this I mean is it just bad washi tape because see then when you do get it to come out does that so I'm gonna just throw it away but tell me all what you think like I don't know. So you look for this in the next um, use it or lose it box. Cause yeah, it's gotta go. Okay, I got two more journal pages done today and two more videos. And one of them is saving right now. And as soon as I'm done with that, two new videos, I'll get them all loaded and scheduled out on YouTube. I also got, ooh, squirrel. I also got some ads out for the class I'm teaching in June with Bea Grob and a bunch of other really talented artists. Uh, the link for that's in the video description. Um, the link for the stamps and stencils I've used in the upcoming journal page videos will be in the video descriptions, but they're all available in the Etsy shop. So go look over there. And what else? Um, I know there's something else. I can't think what it is. guys, it is Friday, April 16th, 6.11 p.m. I forgot to vlog this morning or any other rest of the time today. Oops. There's a lot going on today, including starting off the morning with an eye doctor's appointment that ran an hour and a half, dear, longer than it was supposed to. Yeah, an hour and a half longer than it was supposed to. Not because there was anything wrong. They had a couple of emergencies at the ophthalmologist's office. Um, which pushed my appointment behind. She was over an hour late to see me. Um, the good news is, though, although I'm on a glaucoma watch because of some family medical history and issues with my eyes I was born with that I can't do anything about, they're just watching things. I have to make sure I go in every year and not be a jerk and not go in. And um, But otherwise, my vision is good. I'm safe to drive without corrective lenses, so I, should I so choose? And... I still need glasses to read, but you know. Anyway, we had a meeting after that, a phone meeting. We took care of that. We went grocery shopping. My mom is being transferred to a skilled nursing care to take care of a couple things for her before she goes back to the hospital for a procedure that she needs. So I still don't know if she's coming home at all or not. Um, and if so, when, or if she's going to skilled nursing care for a while. We don't, I don't know. 
Anyway, we're headed up to my dad's tomorrow to go check in on him and my sister Karen is in town from Iowa, staying with him, helping out with some stuff. I'm in the process, you see that, that container right there? It's full of sourdough crackers, uh, making regular sourdough crackers and gluten-free sourdough crackers to bring up to dad's. I made extra crackers, some for us, some for the daughter and son-in-law because they like them anyway. I spent the afternoon baking. Yeah, it's a thing. No art, not yet anyway. All right, I think that's it for the minute. I need some more water, some more of that. We ordered pizza. We're not even going out to go get pizza because we did enough errands. I don't want to leave the house again. Yeah, it's a thing. All right, I'll be Dad back. dinner. I've kind of blown my diet today, <laughs> just FYI. I haven't had that many vegetables unless you count the little bit of broccoli that was on the pizza that I just had for dinner. <laughs> I don't know that that counts. <laughs> and we're going walking so that I It is 9.17 p.m. or so, Saturday, April 17th. Um, it's been a long day, uh, driving all the way up to my dad's and mom's house. Um, they're a couple hours from here, spending the afternoon with them, making sure dad ate a good lunch, um, talking to my sister Karen about what's going on with our mom's health, kind of making sure uh, we have, I have the facts straight according to what she's saying and that we're kind of all on the same page. Um, my mom's having kind of a risky procedure done next week and cross your fingers, it goes well. There's a lot of things that could go wrong between now and then. How do I say this? It may make what's left for her more comfortable, which is why it's being gone ahead with. Um, but it's not gonna change the outcome of what's happening, if you get my drift. So anyway, uh, Karen and I also, for the first time in quite a few decades, maybe 40 years, worked together peacefully, and we got my Dad's pantry closet and his kitchen cleaned and straightened out because that was a hot mess. And um, she's helping him with yard work and some things, other things around the house um, that need doing that, you know, dad hasn't had time to do. And uh, I see garbage on the floor. Uh, dad hasn't had time to do. And because he was taking care of mom, 
got neglected. And so um, I think every time one of us kids go over, we're helping him with something new. That's all we can do while we're waiting to see what happens with mom. So anyway, <sighs> I'm home now and we've had dinner and we're just chilling. First time in quiet. I think maybe since I started this whole thing, we didn't go walking. Maybe the only other time I did that was when we had our first COVID shot. Anyway, um, but I have 70,000 plus steps this week already. So I think 72 or 73. I'm not really worried. Let's see. I had 70,000 last night. What do I have now? Uh, I don't know. 3,300 at the moment. So seven, I'll be ending the week with 73,000. That's an average of 10,000 a day. That's fine. Anyway, um, it's just, it's been a week. Bonus though, I'm um, back to doing some more art journaling tonight at 8 p.m. The first of those videos came out and I'm trying some new days and times. And so we'll see what y'all think. I don't know. You let me know. The pages are fun. They're not super hard. I do think I'm going to go back since it's only April and look at, Mike Deacon's mid-month mini missions and um, I have an idea maybe for doing those. So I'm going to go uh, maybe tomorrow and print his mini missions out for January through April um, since we're only the four fourth month into the year. I can still probably maybe catch up and um, do those. So I think I might do that. I have a few ideas. So, you know, the inspiration is like coming back. Um, <sighs> Now that we just kind of finding know what's going on with mom, I mean, the outcome's probably not going to be a great one, but I'm finally feeling a little bit inspired to create some stuff. So I think we'll do that. So anyway, I don't know what else to go with that. We're going to take it as it comes. It's all we can do with art, with life and everything. Anyway, if you have any questions, comments, or current concerns, please leave them down below. If you're in one of my Facebook art groups, feel free to tag me in a post over there. Especially if you've done some artwork, I'd love to see what you're doing. If you're inspired by um, prompts or words or anything else that's going on in one of the groups, I'd certainly love to know about it. So please do tag me. Um, if you want to join said art groups or follow me on Instagram, support the free content by shopping in the Etsy store, joining Patreon, all of that stuff. Look in the video description down below. It's all down there, including my link tree list links. Some of it is in the link tree list links. So check all of the things in the things for the things. Check them out. Um, you can get my Art Foamies at the Art Foamies website. That's down there. You can sign up for the class I'm teaching in June with Bea Grob and a bunch of other really fabulously trained artists. And that is also down below. Check it out. All right. That's it for right now. Give your loved ones a hug, say please and thank you, be nice, be kind, be decent humans, and, you know, we can all make it through. I know we can. All right, that's it for this week. I will see you all next week. Please stay safe, stay healthy, stay creative. Please wear a mask. And if you're so okay with it or inspired, get vaccinated. I don't think it's a bad thing. All right, that's it for the minute. Don't forget to go out and do something nice for yourself because you deserve it and I'll see you later. Bye guys.